Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a Kimball Viennese Classic 6760. It measures six foot seven inches from the very front to the very back, and we've actually sold this piano before. So you've watched our videos, you know that this happens fairly often with us where we sell a piano to somebody and they move out of state or something and they need to sell the piano back to us. This is a six foot seven piano, so it's a grand piano for sure. Um, we're not to semi-concert grand yet, that's at seven foot. But let me tell you a little bit about Kimball Viennese Classics. So Kimball Viennese Classics, for those of you who don't know, Kimball owned Bosendorfer for a short period in the 80s. And us piano nerds kind of call this the poor man's Bosendorfer. They, these, these pianos have a remarkable uh, resemblance to Bosendorfer pianos. I'm not going to say they are Bosendorfer, but there was definitely some overlap while they owned Bosendorfer. And Bosendorfer did help them design this piano. Uh, for example, the bass bridge has the holes in the back of it. It's a, a um, cantilever bridge just like Bosi does with the holes in the back um, and then some action geometry stuff is very similar to Bosendorfer itself. A lot of these pianos, these, these uh, Kimball Viennese classics, this is where I talk bad about the pianos, they had issues with polyester and so a lot of them that you see out there you'll see cracks in the, in the poly. Right here a lot of times, sometimes it'll be on this part because there's a lot of pressure on the poly here. Um, I've even seen it across the lid. This piano doesn't have any of that. And to put this into perspective, we probably sell, I don't know, maybe like six to eight uh, Viennese classics a year. And this is probably the second one I've seen without damage like that. Um, and from what I know, it happened fairly uh, immediately when they would sell these pianos. Um, another weird fact about Campbell Viennese classics is they were in the Super Bowl in the 80s. They use these, I think they're in the halftime show or the opening ceremonies or something. They had 88 of these different uh, black and white ones stacked to look like a piano keys. That was uh, in the 80s somewhere. I guess that was, that was a cool thing to do then. And we've actually gotten some of those pianos. This is not one of those. Uh, but guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.